So one of my favorite movies is The Matrix Trilogies, and it's amazing the kind of life lessons you can get from that. But one of the interesting takeaways that anyone will be able to pick up on is the idea of choice. This idea of cause and effect or taking action or not taking action. And I wanted to incorporate that same understanding and philosophy into how you should be living your life. Now, it's very important to be aware that whether you take action or choose not to take action, that is your responsibility and decision to do so. No one else can take action or do things for you. It is up to you to be able to get the results that you want in life. And exactly like in the movie with Neo, uh, I think one of the, uh, the other characters, they say to him about walking the path. No one can walk the path. It might have been the Oracle, actually, come to think about it. But no one else can walk the path except for Neo alone. He has to be the one to go through that door. He has to be the one to take action and for him in the movie to be able to save the uh, the world and pull people out of the Matrix. But for you, it's going to be a slightly different scenario here. If there's things in your life that you're not happy with, then you have to be the one to do something about it. You have to decide on your own that you are not happy with the outcomes or the results that you're getting and you have to actively take action for it. But if you choose not to take action, if you choose to do nothing about it, then your situation won't change. It will stay the exact same as it is now. So if you're unhappy with your social life, but you have the opportunity to go out and practice your social skills or develop your conversation skills in a public environment, then you have two options there. You either take action and you do something or you choose not to do something. But if you choose to do something and step into the unknown and don't know what's going to happen, what kind of experiences you're going to have, you will still learn something from it. It is through trial and error of experiencing things in life that is what gets you your results because you become desensitized to it, you become used to it, and the learning process that you get from it is what helps you to make more rational and sensible decisions about things. Imagine how you probably learned how to drive a car or ride a bike or learn to read. You know, you didn't just give up straight away, you took the decision to learn to get back on that bike or get back in that car and do things again. If there are women that you are attracted to and you've gone over and you've experienced rejection or you got turned down or maybe things happened in life, it is your decision to either accept that or to do something about it. How do you do something about it? You talk to more people. You get used to having more conversations. You get used to being around beauty and talking about things. You develop your confidence. You develop your social skills. But if you don't choose that path and you choose the path of, uh, I suppose, least resilience, then the option would be to just stay away from things. That rather than embracing the fear and trying to learn to control it, you instead let it control you and you just choose to avoid it completely. So like even with the idea of fight or flight, you are either going to go into battle or you're going to run away from it. It is your choice at the end of the day. It is your responsibility to choose what to do. Now, you might not like the idea of going and talking to people or trying to be sociable. And that is okay. Everyone at some point in their lives has felt that anxiety to go and talk to a stranger. Everyone experiences rejections. Everyone has good rejections. Everyone has had harsh rejections. But you have to learn to not let it bother you. And that happens through doing stuff over and over again. That repetitiveness and exposure therapy is what creates that desensitization. But at the end of the day, it is your choice what you do. Now, if you choose to take the the viewpoint of that you don't want to fix your life, you don't want to do anything about it, 
that's fine. But that is your responsibility and your decision for that. And then you have to embrace it. You can't be complaining how hard your life is if you've chosen to actively not do something about it. So like with Neo in the Matrix movies, you've got the choice of the two pills. One, to go deeper into the rabbit hole and face your fears and the other one to run away from it. But either way, you have to be the one to make that decision and you have to do it at some point as well. You can't just run away from it. You can't ignore it. If you're unhappy with your situation at the moment, you've got to do something about it. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this idea from the Matrix movies. Have you watched them? Have you enjoyed them as much as I have as well? And uh, are you taking action on your dating life? Or are there maybe things that you are hesitant about doing, but you do know that you need to take responsibility for it and do something about it? And if you're happy to share it, it's going to just show other guys who are watching this video that they aren't alone, that every other guy is in the same boat, that we all have fears, we all have anxieties, we are scared to take action and do stuff about it. But hopefully, if we can create a support system, everyone can do something about it and everyone can have a successful dating life that they deserve. So if you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel so I can reach even more men and I can give them the support that they need to grow. Reach out to me if you do need any help with this. I do offer therapy services to help you with your anxiety or at least be there as support to help you with making those conscious decisions that you need to, to get the results that you want in life. And lastly, of course, I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. Thank you again so much for watching and helping my channel grow and support me and look forward to another video coming out from me.